a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. It's day night and we're headed to Cirque de Soul. Cirque de Soleil, Cirque, Cirque, the circus. Okay, they came last year and I wanted to see them really bad. And they're back this year, so I'm glad that they actually invited me out. They were like, hey, come out, enjoy date night on us. And like I said, it's something I've been wanting to see and do. I've been to Vegas several times and I wanted to see the show in Vegas, but I never got around to it. So I'm so glad they're here in Atlanta and we're all dressed, about to head out. You know I love me a date night, so I'm excited. And doing something different other than just going out to eat is always a vibe. Let me show y'all my outfit because when I tell you Wrangler did a thing, did a thing, I have my little light on so I can look like, yeah. good. Wrangler sent over this jumpsuit. And when I tell you jumpsuits never, ever, ever fit me correctly because they don't have enough stretch in them. So they won't either won't fit my thighs or my butt or my hips. And then the top will be like super baggy because I always have to get like an extra large. Wrangler did a thing for the thick girls. It's a good thick material, but it's so stretchy and so cute. So I threw it on with my little Zara heels, the little sling back heels I got from Zara. And then it has this zipper on it. I was like, okay, is it giving mechanic? I had to ask my boyfriend like, do I look like a mechanic? He was like, no, you look good. It's cute. This mirror is so streaky. Great date night. Like what a great night. Those performers are so talented, undeniably talented and strong. I was just looking at them like, you guys are amazing. Like it really is amazing. Some of the tricks and things they put their body through. Great date night outside of just like getting food and going to like a bar. So if you're in Atlanta, I think they're here until January. But I'll link the website below so you guys can see what's tea. Only downside is it's porta potties. If I'd known it was porta potties, I would not have worn a jumpsuit that I gotta get naked in a porta potty. You know, with a jumpsuit, you gotta unzip it and literally get naked. And there was a puddle of piss on the ground. So imagine me in a porta potty. <laughs> There's a puddle of piss on the ground, so I'm trying to avoid the piss. 
I have to unzip this whole jumpsuit, take it off so I'm naked under here. And I'm trying to hold my sleeves because if the sleeves hang, they'll be hanging in, in piss, girl. <laughs> but other than that, everything was nice. <laughs> Just no, prepare for the porta potties. And then we got some food from Rocksteady. Let me put the light on this. Yes, I have had a glass of champagne at the thing. So I'm a little bit tipsy. Oh, the light, girl, the light. <laughs> Restaurants in Atlanta are just something else, okay? So after the performance, we wanna just go pick up some food. So we go to Rocksteady. We've been to Rocksteady plenty of times. We've dined in with Rocksteady so many times, right? We don't particularly feel like dining in. We just wanna call in, we wanna come home, get comfortable and eat some food. We call, I'm surprised they even answered the phone because you know no one in Atlanta even answers the phone when you call, like that's a true story especially on the weekends. You cannot call an Atlanta restaurant that's actually busy and popping and get anyone on the phone. You can't do that. So I'm surprised they even answered the phone. We're like, hey, we want to do a takeout order. You cannot do takeout orders. <laughs> you have to come in, find a seat at the bar and order with the bartender. Okay. So we come in, sit at the bar, order with the bartender. I want to get you guys' opinions on this. The check is still 20% gratuity for a takeout order, like it's automatically built in. How do y'all feel about that? Like, we don't wanna dine in. We don't wanna be served. We just wanna order food to go and go home. So I asked, I was like, even if we're like doing takeout, do we still have to have this 20% gratuity? The bartender's like, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Literally, they hand us the menu. We tell him, hey, we want this, this, and this. He punches it in. He gives us the bag. But we have to tip $16. You have to tip, do you guys, you have to tip $16 for them to put your food in and hand it to you. Not to clear your dishes, not to, you know, run down the menu with you, not to, refill your drinks just to punch in some shit and hand you your to-go bag and kick you out the door you have to you know like is anyone might just be drunk rambling but it's just like Atlanta and then don't get me started on the parking then they be having an attitude because their tip already be included I worked in the restaurant industry for years so you can't say oh let you don't work in the restaurant like I know how it goes Hey, did you miss us? Did you miss us, Teddy? Bonte, how did you enjoy the show? The show was amazing. What was your favorite? My favorite was the one with this the, the segment where it was the, the little black kid. Little he black was, uh, flipping oh, he was over. flipping on the, um, yeah, on the yeah that, that was, was crazy. crazy. I have that on camera. And that second was when they was all together yeah like like jumping on top of each other yeah and then what about the girls that were like hanging from head? each other it was weird it was weird <laughs> hanging from your bean <laughs> i wonder how they do that i got it on camera they're literally hanging from like a like a, a steel circle they're hanging on each other's head it's wild like it was wild i don't want to give it all away because i want you guys to go and see it. And I was talking shit about the takeout already, so. Hey, wow, and it's starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, so I ain't going on. Oh, yeah. Good morning. It is the next day. Well, I am headed to go work out. But I don't have to leave my house today. It's good because it is gloomy outside and rainy. And your girl really didn't feel like going anywhere, so. I don't have to go anywhere. Because look what I got. Ooh. We got an exercise bike right downstairs. Let's get it in. Very big thank you to Yes Soul Fitness for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I enjoy going to the gym, working out. It's a great outlet for me, but it really gets harder and harder 
to drag myself to the gym when it starts to get cold and it's getting dark earlier. So I love that I have the option to have this bike right in my house to work out. I just love this screen casting feature which allows you to connect to the Yeso app and it has tons of different exercises and instruct shares. You have the option to choose a more moderate exercise like beginner friendly or high intensity fat burning and all in between. I like that you could also monitor your progress and how many calories you're burning. I've tried a few of the instructors already and I love their high energy, the music, the vibes, it just makes for a good workout. But if you choose to go another route, the screen casting also supports streaming services, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. You can watch the game if you want. So you can still enjoy your favorite stuff while you're getting in a good workout. I was also very pleased with how sturdy the bike is. I'm not a small girl, okay? And the bike doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I did have to assemble it myself. I'm pretty good at stuff like that, so it wasn't a big deal to me, but if you're not, you may need some help. But yeah, it's just a good alternative to other bikes like the Peloton. The price point is really good for all the features and things that you get with it. It's only $4.99. And I'll also share a code on the screen for you guys. There's gonna be a link in the description box as well, so that when you check out, you can use the code. But yeah, it's just a great alternative for the fall and winter months when you don't wanna drag yourself to the gym. You have no excuse to get it in because it's right in your house. That was a good workout. I can definitely see myself taking a break from the gym some days and just coming downstairs. It's like having your own personal spin class right in the convenience of your own home. That is dope. And everything is gonna be linked below. So I had to come to Target. Hey y'all, it's like the next day. I had to come to Target because I tried to make myself a nice holiday cocktail yesterday. And my blender broke a while ago, so I was like, oh, I need a new blender. And this is a lesson in being cheap. It never pays to be cheap. I was being cheap, and I got the cheapest little blender I could find. I was like, oh, this is cool. It's called the Magic Bullet. I was like, oh, it's kind of like the Nutra Bullet, Magic Bullet, $35, let's do it. So if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen. I was trying to blend up this nice cocktail and this blender couldn't even handle the freaking ice cool the um the ice cubes like how can you call yourself a blender and you can't even blend up no ice cubes it got sh it got smoothies on here tell me how you gonna make a smoothie without ice tell me how that works so jokes on me for being cheap jokes on them because i'm bringing it back give me my money back and I'm gonna get a little something nice that I can handle my smoothies. Girl, it's always some. Okay, maybe I should just get the Nutra Bullet. I don't want, this is nice. But I don't think I need nothing as big. But this one's, this one's definitely good. This is the one I used to have. I used to have this one and then the Small Ninja. Is there a Small Ninja? Small Ninja, I know those work good too. Oh, these, this. This looks like a nice size. I think I should just get this neutral bullet. I think I should. Okay, y'all. This is the one I chose. Luxury compared to that other one. Ugh. Even when I went to go take it back, the girl um, that was working behind the return counter was like, yeah, I bought the same one. I couldn't get it to work. Like I couldn't get it to blend the ice cubes. I was like, literally girl, this last night I was trying to make a drink and I was like, yeah. I knew I wasn't crazy, y'all. They didn't just take that off the shelves. Ooh. I always get excited over home appliances, y'all. Ninja. And it was on sale. It was only, how much did I pay? $80, I think, $80. It's a good price. Oh, it's big. I know it's big. That's what I'm talking about, something with a real blade. Something with a real blade. So I'm gonna remake the drink when we get home. We're gonna go to the movies excuse me, and go see Hunger Games came out a few days ago. And I told myself I wasn't gonna see Hunger Games because I quickly seen the preview a few months ago and it was no Jennifer Lawrence. 
I'm like she owns this whole franchise. She's that girl. Like how is she not in the Hunger Games? But then I realized it, they're telling the story before like the first Hunger Games or so I'm like, okay, it makes sense as to why she wouldn't be in it because they're going back to the beginning. So then I was like, all right, we can try it out because Hunger Games, it was like one of my favorite series. So we're gonna go see that and then come home. Make my drink. Okay, y'all, so Hunger Games was actually really good. It was good, it was entertaining, acting was great. Um, I did fall asleep, yeah, I did, like towards the end, but my boyfriend just filled me in on what was going on. The movies are too long these days. However, it was really good, and it was kind of nostalgic being in a packed out movie theater. I feel like I haven't been in like a packed out movie theater since probably before COVID. Like movie theaters have been really empty to me. I don't know if it's just because I don't go on premiere days or on the weekends, but it was just cool being in a theater full of people. Cause you know, after COVID or like during COVID, people weren't going to the movie theaters and it turned into just like you watching stuff on Prime Video or waiting until it comes straight to streaming services. But it was cool, like people was actually out in the theater on dates, it was date night, it was so cute. But um, anyway, yeah, I recommend, let me know what y'all thought of it because the ending was a little confusing to some people. Um, so yeah, so, so if you follow me on TikTok, you know I tried this drink. It's called the Jack Frost. This is a video that you guys were tagging me in and I was like, of course I'm gonna try it. It's the holidays. I love making holiday cocktails. This one's a mocktail. So it was a fail on TikTok. So I was like, I'm gonna make it the right way for YouTube. So it calls for Tarani vanilla syrup, blue carousel, cream of coconut. I was just opening the pineapple juice. And that's literally it. Oh, and then it calls for coconut ice cubes, coconut milk ice cubes. This should be really simple. The taste was there, the presentation was not, and then I got the new blender so that the ice cubes can blend down and the consistency can hopefully be better this time. <laughs> ice cubes. Actually, I wanna do the presentation first because that's what made me very sad was the presentation didn't come out nice. And I feel like it's because the coconut flakes weren't sticking because it just called for syrup. Like dip, dip your rim in syrup and it should stick. It wasn't sticking, so I'm gonna use something super sticky. I'm gonna use, is this agave or honey? Agave. This is gonna be cute. You know what I wanna host, y'all? Have y'all ever seen um, those parties where you invite friends over and everyone brings like a drink that's like specific to the theme. So I seen one theme was like a breakup and then you bring a drink that has the theme of like a breakup or like a spooky drink for Halloween or a Christmas drink. I think that's so cute. And I think because I haven't hosted at my house yet, like, ooh, what kind of, what kind of friend am I? I think that would be the perfect, perfect, perfect thing to host everyone make their own drink that would be so on brand for me <laughs> yeah it's sticking this time i don't know oh it's kind of not sticking like how can i get this to stick okay i just have to really because like how are you gonna make the holiday drink with no snow on the rim girl i really be committed to these drinks don't i it's like a hobby it's fun for me Kind of extra. <laughs> kind of extra. Uh, <laughs> okay. I feel like it's as good as it's gonna get. Oh, that's a that's a lot. I called for pineapple juice. Okay. Cream of coconut. I didn't know you were supposed to shake this up and it came out super, super watery the first time. Someone commented under the video like, girl, you're supposed to shake that up. It's supposed to be creamy and not watery. <laughs> okay, hopefully it's not watery this time. Moment of truth. There, yeah, it was like super, super watery. It's still not that creamy. 
And then last but not least, the blue parasol for the Jack Frost color. The lid on. The moment of truth, y'all. Hi, smoothie. Okay, why is it doing that? you no i'm sorry i would love to actually i would be proud to serve this it is good though sweet I like sweet drinks it is time for friendsgiving it is time to eat the mac and cheese and oxtails and all the other shit <laughs> No, but I'm getting ready for um, Friendsgiving. Just did, just got my hair done, did my makeup. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear yet, but for this, first of all, this weather is trash. It is rainy and ugly and nasty. Not really cold, but I think I'm just gonna wear a sweater dress and some tights, heels. I went to Zara to try to find an outfit. It's so crazy to try to find an outfit just to sit in somebody's living room. But I wanted to feel like nostalgic, like the old days on Thanksgiving, you used to get dressed up and go to your grandma's house. We'll go to my grandma's house. So I wanted to feel cute. But Zara didn't have a damn thing. The mall in general just didn't have nothing. I went to Urban, I went to Mango. And then I finally went to Target and I was able to pick up a few things from Target. I might just wear the sweater dress I just bought. So that's that. I'm gonna show you guys. I already cooked my dishes that I was in charge of. I'm gonna show you guys when I get downstairs. Cute little sweater dress I picked up from Target and then my Fendi tights. I was gonna wear a different pair of heels. The shoes really doesn't matter because I'm taking the shoes off, but I'm just gonna wear my rain boots. My black rain boots because it is rainy as fuck outside and it actually looks cute with this outfit. So that's that. Oh, let me show you how my Ooh. I was in charge of the potato salad and the banana pudding so whipped up a little sum sum what happens if nobody eats it that's always my biggest fear like if i ever bring a dish to a function and nobody eats it like that is a nightmare <laughs> because then i'm never making shit else i'm never making shit else oh my god that's how i was i was so nervous last thanksgiving when i spent it with like him and his friends and family or whatever and I had to bring a dessert and I brought a 7-Up cake. And I was nervous all through dinner. I'm like, oh my God, dessert's coming up. Like, they better eat this fucking pound cake. But when I tell y'all it was a hit, the people loved it all night. They was like, ooh, who made this cake? Who made the cake? Who made the 7-Up pound cake? <laughs> I felt so proud. No, I was so proud. Like, me. I did that. Being that I'm gonna be in traffic for an hour, I need some good music. Like I've been, music hasn't been music in lately. Or maybe I'm just like scared to venture out. I'ma stick to what I know. just made me tear up I, that's such an underrated Beyonce song school in life I don't know why like it just made me start tearing up like I don't know what that's about am I is my period coming I tell you this is a classic I'm not gonna hold you this is what I feel like her most recent album was missing was all this these are back-to-back R&B hits like rather die young one plus one um, and this song I was just belting before that. Like, these are beautiful songs. I don't know much about algebra, but I know. In honor of the Cassie Diddy drama, what y'all think about that drama, by the way? I think Diddy's a piece of shit, but I don't know. This used to be a banger. Girl, they 
know you're the one I wanna give it to I can see you on me too It's easy with my song too I know that's right now we three minutes away shout out to Beyonce herself and Cassie and y'all for listening to me <laughs> and getting me through that hour drive it's lit weird Look how cute the setup is. Bronnie is so cute. It's Friendsgiving. It's Friendsgiving. Oh, the menu. Oh, this is so cute. Maybe you should take up um, event planning, Bronnie. And the lovely host making our shots and stuff already. Uh oh. What is this? Cosmic. You already know what that is. <laughs> Thank it's you, not cold either. Oh, it's okay. Hostess with the monsters, you want to get the uh, toasters? Hostess with the monsters. Um, I'm not good with this kind of stuff. But okay. I do want to thank everyone for coming. This is my first, I've been in this house for like two and a half months. This is the first time I've had any sort of thing. Yeah. And I'm huh? just stepping out on a limb. I'm very shy and reserved to myself, so this is a big step for me. So Aww. thank you guys for coming. Well, I feel honored. <laughs> Here goes nothing. This is Issa's Popping bottles. Prosecco. Yes. Oh! Say hi, Angui. Oh, it's a little bit thin right now. Hi, guys. No, 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 no. Hi, Welcome Kiana. back to our Morning. channel. Period. Oh, no, good. Mm -mm. Hey, did you say hello? Oh, hello. Hey, guys. Oh, you miss me? Okay. Yes, of course they miss you. So beautiful. Pouring up the process. Yeah. Oh my apologies, we did not hear. Leah up the pussy. Thank you, baby. Right, we are really uneven pours. I am so sorry. <laughs> is getting nothing, and the people who are getting the entire bottle. <laughs> not as much as I. Like Y'all quiet like, over there. Cheers. Y'all want to talk? Y'all want to talk? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see. She working. Cheers. Okay. Oh, cheers. cheers. Another cheers. Thank, Thank you, Bronnie, for bringing everybody. We all got to wait. They can't dance, guys. So if you guys have like a recommendation for a dance coach, they would. Oh yeah. Okay. This one I do, but yeah, I don't dance. Oh, you know what? Come on, yeah. Yeah, I don't. They tried their best. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh yeah, daddy wearing this bus. No, they're fire. They're like, they're fire. They're fire, they're fire, they're fire. They're fire. They're fire. They're fire. Everything is good, y'all. I think I had the most fat ass plate out of everything. I mean, you, you was hungry. So you was, you it's was hungry. Leah, it's Thanksgiving. I'm the only one who got everything though. Like, y'all didn't get everything. I got everything. I got everything. Oh, okay, period. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go around the room and everyone is going to say what we are thankful for. I said, I'm going to start because I don't want nobody to take them on because it's very <laughs> cliche. I'm so thankful for all of you guys. <laughs> and so no, I'm being serious. And getting together and having a Friendsgiving because my family is far. Like, Aww. so I wasn't going to do anything for Thanksgiving anyway. And they don't celebrate. So I'm thankful for Aww. everyone, Bronnie's, but especially you, <laughs> for having us. And love you guys. Aww, love love you. Okay, well, oh, same. <laughs> yeah. Leah, yeah, what do you think before we I want to give a big, big thank you to Brianna for having everybody here and inviting us in her home, especially since she like just moved in and like got settled. Yes. Like, thank you so much. It's such an intimate and like very nice thing. I've never been to a Friendsgiving before, so this was very Me nice oh, wow. and special Me to share with yeah. all of you guys. And I've been gone for like fucking ever yeah. Yeah. So to be able to come back and like see everybody and new friends as well like all at once is like really really nice and yeah I just like I'm just so fucking happy we love you Leah Tasha so what you got to say since you were so ready to rush me all I had to say was I'm thankful to be here boom <laughs> That you guys invited me. Right. <laughs> I'm thankful to my team. She got her girl. We said thank night. you, God, and my team. Good night. <laughs> Good night. That's it. Love you, Tosh. Love you guys. Um, I'm thankful to be here. Also, thank you so much to. I'm gonna say something. I am. Thank you so much to Brianna for putting this together and pulling us Period. all together and setting. Oh, up. damn it! Oh, 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 setting this up so nicely like i really really appreciate it's it i beautiful. feel like friends make the world go around and all the time every single time i see you guys it's always fun so like i'm okay. sorry i'm late <laughs> love you on queen love you on love you on love I'm just say thankful for our relationships. Oh, oh. Yeah. like we really came in what? I think I just, how long has it been? Two years. It's been two years. More well, than two years now. No, we've been not sure, but not still. January two years. Yeah, January two years. Yeah, so almost two years, guys. We really made like a solid friendship. Oh, yeah. Inviting me here, it was so nice, and I'm thankful to just be surrounded by people who just on their path. Like y'all successful, y'all got your shit going on, y'all yeah. focused, and y'all beautiful black women. You know, black excellence. So I'm just grateful, and I'm thankful to eat some good food. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. yeah. Oh my, my granny, she really fell off a little bit with the <laughs> that everyone came out. I wanted to get a bunch of beautiful, black, successful women yes. together, support each other. I love mm -hmm. that. Y'all know, well, y'all don't know, but I did tell y'all earlier, I'm really shy, reserved, oh. and stuff like that. So this is, this is, you know, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of your element, we love it. So thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for, you know, coming a long way because I know some of y'all came afar distance. Yeah. And thank you for, just, I don't know. I'm just being here. Yeah. Love you, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
want to say thank you for inviting me because I do not go to many events. I don't get invited because I'm to myself. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> just interact with people. I'm very to myself. But I, I just want to say thank you. And it was nice meeting everybody. And I'm glad to be in the environment. Like, with people that do the same thing as yes. me. So, yeah. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Okay. A lot of y'all probably don't know me, but I watch some of y'all on YouTube. Um, I just moved here about almost a year ago, so I'm where just- Where you from? I'm just here in I'm from Memphis. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm super <laughs> here all over now. So I'm super excited to meet all of y'all. I want to thank Brunny for bringing me here. So I'm just super Aww. excited to meet everybody. Nice meeting you guys. Yes. yes. So for everybody, Girl. thank you Brunny for bringing me. Thank you Aaliyah for introducing me to everybody. To be honest, because I'm not a person that really like um, is for new people. Yeah. So and I'm so happy I got introduced to all of y'all. Yes. And yes, we gonna kumbaya. We gonna sing. I dare you. Players will be challenged to do the dare displayed on the card. If you're too keyword to do the dare, take a shot. Does it say keyword? Oh, pussy. That, that <laughs> wild card. Here's where we see who's really about it. The wild cards have the craziest dares and will separate the pups from the big dogs. If you can't handle the wild card, take a shot. Please drink responsibly. Know your limit. Do not drink and drive. Take a shot if you believe in polygamy. No. Take a shot if you have a side tooth missing. Oh, no, no, no. Because she's from Florida. No, <laughs> Take a shot if a bitch has ever came to you as a woman or if a nigga ever came Oof. to you as a black girl. That's everybody. Cheers. Because don't nobody want that man's Oh, my God. <laughs> Take a shot if you like golden showers. No, I've never had. Carisha, please. Carisha, <laughs> <laughs> please. That's only her. Um, wild card. Name the last. Oh shit! Now putting me on blast. Name the last four people you had sex with or take two shots. I'll oh, take two shots. Four is crazy. Four is wild. I don't even have four. Oh my! I told y'all this game is this ridiculous. Is crazy. Now, it's funny though. No. Take a shot if you ever left home without brushing your teeth. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, 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 please. Yeah, uh, Tasha. Tasha. There's nothing like eating a plate of good food at a function. So you're like, mm, this is gonna be good for later because I'm only gonna eat a little bit now and I'm gonna take a to-go plate and eat a little bit later when I get home. So you make yourself a perfect, nice to-go plate. And you get in the car and you drive home safely only to get home and realize that your plate, your to-go plate that you made is still on the hostess's Kitchen counter, because <laughs> you forgot it. That is the worst. They be like, damn. I was gonna get home and bust that shit down. Oh, let me open this gift. <laughs> Leah brought gifts. She said, since I ain't cooked nothing, I brought everyone gifts. That is so cute. Oh, I love a good gift. <laughs> what? Oh, there's goodies in here. This shit's heavy. This is cute. For Alexis, little candy cane mugs, super cute. And we have, oh, the beloved brown sugar and toasted almond hand lotion. I just actually did a collab with them on TikTok, beloved. Their stuff is good. Cute. Okay. Little bubbly. Oh, she knows a lot of stuff, Leah, what the hell? Fireside glow scented candle. That's amazing. Mm, this smells very holiday-esque. Very good. Oh, are these socks? It's so cute. 
She got us gloves, socks. What are these? Not the snowman. These are so cute. <laughs> Leah is the rich auntie, I swear. Because what the? F this is so thoughtful. Oh, Bronnie had socks for us. That wasn't a part of the gift. <laughs> Ferrera Roche, baby. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. She got us some hair clips. It just keeps going. Like, this is so cute. She said, I'm gonna pull up with gifts. It's Christmas in this hoe. And then, what is this? Peppermint celebration set. Whip soap and body, body cube scrubs. This was so freaking cute. I had to send her a message to be like, girl, actually, you went all out on our gifts. That is so sweet. Oh, I love you. I love my friends. Like, so thankful for my girls. I'm taking you off stuffing and putting you back on mac and cheese. Because I feel like you, it's a lot to, that goes into stuffing. So me and Vontae decided to do all of our shopping the day before Thanksgiving, bless you, the day before Thanksgiving. So now we're in a frenzy getting all these ingredients and recipes together because I want to start cooking tonight. But we still have to do all the shopping. So hopefully the grocery stores aren't too crazy and they're still fully stocked. We should be good though. I'm gonna go to Kroger's Publix Farmer's Market. See what we can see. Six and a half hours later. Well, six stores and a few hours later, we've got everything we need for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, I'm in over my head. I'm looking at this bunch of collard greens. I had no idea that these were this massive. I had no idea. I had no idea. I have never cleaned a green. I have never made a green. And I'm looking at videos of how to clean these and it looks so tedious. People are like, oh, you gotta wash your greens five or six times until the water runs clear. Like, what are y'all talking about? I'm, I'm gonna call my mom. That's, that's it, I'm gonna call my mom. I don't recall us ever having to clean greens growing up, but mom she made- She like nothing. But mom, she made the greens, so I don't understand why we never learned how to clean them. That's what I'm saying, bro. Hi. Mom, she needs some help. Is this the normal size of some damn greens? Yes. I look at greens. Yeah. And that's that crap. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that looks like a lot. But if that's all you got, well, it's just the two of us. Yeah, I guess that's going to cook down to a little pot. I got two bunches of these. Yeah, so yeah, you gotta clean them. I know, so how do you clean yours? So I used to put a little soapy water. People are on TikTok talking about your generation that you use dish soap to clean your, <laughs> clean uh, your stuff. Uh, you don't have any uh, produce spray? I'm gonna just use salt. No, I'm gonna just use salt. Produce spray, that ain't nothing. Get out of here. Oh, you need man. to really use some milk. I don't care what the People are talking crap about y'all. Y'all, my mom uses soap to clean her greens. I'm just going to use salt, though. No, I just put a little dab in there. And what I would do is I would get it nice and like a little bit of suds in there. Yeah. Wipe them down on both sides because ours came from Grandma Laverne's garden. So ours literally came from her garden. From the garden? Right from the ground. Yes. I don't know. I didn't know that. This is a lot of work. I had no idea this was this much yeah, work. Yeah, you don't start Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving Eve. Finally finished. That took so, y'all, that was a lot of work. Next time, I think I'm going to get the greens that are already in the bag. I seen them and I was like, oh, well, like, well, what's up with those? The greens in the bag. And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Next time I'll be doing that. <laughs> I love my mom and I love my grandma, but I personally will not be using <laughs> dish soap to wash the greens now. But my grandma was also saying how her greens used to be really, really dirty because isn't it such a flex that she used to just grow her own greens right in her own backyard? She's like, well, that's why I would need to have them really, really like 
clean because mine were dirty. Like they came straight out the ground. She was saying how the ones that we get from the grocery store, these ain't gonna be as dirty as the ones that she used to literally go garden and pull out of her yard. That's such a flex. I had no idea. The water doesn't look like it's dirty at all. And yeah, that water looked clear to me. I think we can go ahead and get these babies cooking. y'all we're gonna check in in a few hours to see how everything is turning out so i tasted the greens y'all they are immaculate i'm not gonna hold you they are delicious they are amazing <laughs> did that sweet potatoes for the sweet potato souffle are done and i made the homemade cornbread for the stuffing tomorrow Whenever Vontae gets back and wants to be responsible because he wants to go to the basketball game, he's gonna have to marinate the chicken and the turkey wings. I was so overwhelmed earlier and now I'm good. It's 10 o'clock, I can chill. Wow, cooking ain't that bad, y'all. We're gonna do the rest tomorrow. I'm gonna do some editing because I actually wanna put this vlog up for you guys. It's been long. So I wanna put this vlog up for you guys on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna edit chill watch everyone hates chris and yeah cooking is done for the day happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving guys we spent all day you see it's dark outside now <laughs> we spent all day finishing up our meals cooking stuffing mac and cheese chicken sweet potatoes everything's done we just put out the spread and now we're ready to eat I wanna show you guys, cause I'm proud of us. Like we really did that last minute and we cooked mad food and it's all gonna be fire. <laughs> Everything turned out good. We even made Teddy a little plate. Cause like we can't have Thanksgiving and not include like Te Teddy can't eat his kibble, just his kibble when we're enjoying freaking the fattest plate in America. <laughs> like he gotta eat good too. So I made sure to set Teddy aside some turkey, smoked turkey that I put in the greens. He can't have the greens, but he can have the turkey, he can have potatoes. And then I seasoned it with his pour some chicken on me bark seasoning that I got from Amazon. Yes, Teddy has his own seasoning. And then we have our spread, mashed potatoes, courtesy of Vontae, collards, me, yesterday y'all see me struggling. Chicken looks so good, Vontae potato salad, sweet potato casserole, mac and cheese, dressing. I can't believe we pulled all this together, y'all. We did it, and we about to eat good, right babe? Yeah. Everything looks so good. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy cheers Thanksgiving. to pulling all our shit together and pulling out a feast. Let's eat! Oh, Teddy, you wanna eat first? Let's, let's get Teddy's food together first. All right, all right. Well, let's say our grace and then we'll. <laughs> yeah, say the prayer for us. All right, get down. You too close to the food. Get down. Happy Thanksgiving, Ted, from mom and dad. Got some good food. <laughs> hey, sit down. Hey, sit. 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 He don't even. Relax. Good boy. Go ahead, enjoy. Look at what me and Vontae did. We did that. When you know when you play defensive back with a front like this, look at Vontae's like this, you start to understand the time and everything. And he does that better than most. It looks so good, y'all. 
Oh, you're safety's like. 